to say three, four years, man. It's just very hectic in my career. It's just been very, very hard, you know, from, you know, injuries to contracts to, to missing the weight and, and just so much have got, has gone on. And, and I think, you know, I think this is a break right here. I think this, this is a calling that it's going to change everything, change my career. And, and I'm excited. small town of Coachella, attending Camp Caballero is a rite of passage. Growing up in the desert can toughen one's resolve to survive even the worst droughts. The sweltering gym on Dumas Street provides a greenhouse that grows boys into men. Watered with discipline and hard work, this sanctuary among the sands continues to produce champions. gyms will probably see a kid come in and try to come with a bag and think oh you want to fight get inside the ring but I like that man we're family here we all treat everybody nice bring them in here get them started and, you know everybody's just friendly everybody's just real like I said family here we all open the doors to everybody that walks in this gym and uh, that's what I love about this gym you know I do come a little earlier before all the little kids get here because my dad does it because when the kids get here I start messing around with the kids and I don't even finish training Knowing him and amateurs, we, we grew up, you know, I fought for the Mexico team. Um, just seen him around and uh, we turned pro. He came out here with Joel, sparred a couple of times. And uh, we actually did go out to Mexicali one time and sparred um, after we were pro or whatever. And, you know, there there was tension there, you know, with, with the stuff that they say or whatever, but it comes with the territory. Boxing, everybody's gonna talk. And it is what it is, man. And, and, and But once you're inside a fight, inside the ring and it's just me and him it's a whole different ball game you want testy matador you want testy matador you're mad mad selector run the track pull up la beba dice que yo soy el matador all these niñas call me papi porque le gusta como yo hago el amor breaking hearts when i lay down the floor de corazones yo soy el cazador all you haters just can't stop me hace pa' atrás aquí viene el matador somos unos profesionales en este es nuestro trabajo y hay que entrar muy duro porque los dos queremos una victoria pero el que entre más duro la van a no es not I, I wouldn't call it my biggest fight but it's not a big arena this is probably the biggest you know card I've ever been on and I'm excited for it you know what I'm gonna put on a great show for everybody I think I'm his toughest test Look, I've seen the guys he's fought not even close to my caliber I've I've fought in world title world, world champions you know I'm excited I've won a world title far from what he's ever accomplished so far, so I'm excited, I can't wait, and, uh, and to be on a big car like this, I'm just soaking everything in, man, enjoying every moment of it. I don't dislike him. Um, there, there's times where, you know, we see him at fights, you know, he's not a very social person. He doesn't not talk to nobody, not very friendly, he's in his own world. Mm, I don't blame him, you know, at times you get people that are fake, and maybe he just turns people away, he just doesn't want to bring people into his camp, but I understand that and I don't take, I don't blame him or anything, but you know what, in, in, in a fight, there's no friends. In this sport of boxing, when you have someone at your weight class, close to your weight class, there ain't got no friends. I got, when I see him out in the streets, they all, I'll shake his hand. I don't disrespect nobody. 
If I see somebody, I'll shake your hand, hey, how you doing, whatever. But when it comes to inside the ring, there's no friends. It's all dislike, man. It's all business. You got to handle business side. Step out the ring, hey, I'll shake your hand, I'll talk to you, whatever. But it's it's not, it's not. I, I don't hate the guy, kid. You know, it is what it is. You know, it's the way the sport is. You got to take care of business, whoever they put in front of you. And I'm very happy to be a part of this card and with a companion, a stable mate like Randy and to be fighting at Fantasy Springs, which is like my second home now. Randy El Matador Caballero. Two individual destinies, intertwined in sport, collide in a foretold scene. It's fitting they meet in mutual combat in Las Vegas on September 16th, setting the future's course in the desert that became the shining gem of the sweet science on the greatest night of boxing is a testament to what can grow in the harshest conditions. The path through Coachella is laid with the stones of sacrifice. The tools to lay these stones, hard work, discipline, and sacrifice, lay a path that leads to the shining gem in the desert. And for the fighter, the tools lay under the hand wraps. <laughs>